we don't want a medication. We want a cure. We want to feel better so that we can be productive citizens in society and live our lives normal like everyone else. I have been hearing the same story from these people. Oh, there's a, there's a new study going on for a new medication. Why? Why aren't we talking about food? Angie, how did you find Carnival? Well, uh, back in 2020, a friend of mine that I've known for many years, that's a musician, he started posting about it. And he went from one extreme to another. And he started as a vegan, and then he went to pescatarian, and then he went carnivore. And this was all within like a couple years. And I was like, what is this guy doing? So the carnivore really got my attention. And being a phlebotomist, I was worried because I said, like you have other people on the channel say, oh, the LDL is so high, you're gonna have a heart attack. And I would think just that, you know, all the food that he was posting. And I'm like, that's all he's eating? I'm an omnivore. I love food. I'm a big foodie. And I'm like, I don't think I could do that. And it wasn't until last year when I met my boyfriend, he's a carnivore and he's going into his second year. And so when he met me and knew I had multiple sclerosis and I was diagnosed in year 2000, um, he really was apprehensive at reaching out to me because he was like, she doesn't know me that well. And she might think, you know, who is this guy coming with a, another like, hey, I know something that can fix you. And but I didn't do that at all. So I'm glad that he persisted and just went and said, hey, um, I'm doing carnivore. And it's helped me with this and that. And I just thought you might be interested. He shared some videos with me, um, like Steak and Butter Girl, Ken Berry, Dr. Shafee, you. And I think it was you the last, I don't know when, in the last three weeks, you've had a couple people that have MS and that have been doing carnivore. And I thought, you know, wow, like I've been wanting to hear from people like me and how it's affecting them, how it's changing them. And my biggest change is I can stand on one leg. I, I couldn't stand on one leg. I had no balance. My boyfriend noticed I could go up the stairs without swaying and not holding onto the rail. You know, um, I can step into my my undergarments and my pants without falling over or sitting down. I can just do it standing. Um, my acid reflux is gone. Um, no ice pick headaches. That has disappeared. My, uh, the numbness um, that I've had for 20, almost 24 years on the left side is gone. The feeling in my feet is almost 100%. I'm like 90%, but I, I feel my toes. So I'm just like amazed just eating meat. <laughs> what a thought, you know? And I would look at other friends of mine that have been doing it for the past three years and they're all thriving and they're all, their sleep apnea is almost gone. Their cholesterol, you know, it, yes, it's high, but their blood pressure is great their weight's great. And I'm just like, it, it's been a big life changer for me. And I, I don't feel like I need antidepressants anymore. I just, I want to get off of that. That's my next step is to get off of Paxil because I don't feel I need that anymore. I feel in some, like, I just, I'm in a much better spirit now. I'm more optimistic and I wrote stuff down because I didn't want to forget, you know, because I get so excited and then I kind of go blank. But as for, uh, okay, here's another one. So I used to not be able to fall asleep on my own right off. Now, since going carnivore, I start to get tired and then I just lay down and I can fall right to sleep now. I don't need z or 
melatonin or or anything to help me to fall asleep. Um, I don't have the arthritis pain in my hands anymore. That's gone. Um, and yeah, the 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 whole gaint thing, the balance and the acid reflux, the fact that those two things are non-existent now is just it's mind blowing. I, I every day I still go. I can't believe that it's just eating steak. You know, I feel like my hair is, is getting fuller in certain areas where it wasn't before. Um, definitely depression is getting better. Uh, I did mention in the constipation, I was struggling so bad with that. It's, it's gone. I don't have issues. And when they would tell you, oh, eat more fiber. No. That you want to do the opposite of that. That just makes it worse. <laughs> you know, it's like this is not helping. Or eat more apples. No, it it never worked. And then you see the warning on those things, those pills. And I'm just like, uh, I'm not trying to choke to death, <laughs> you know. But carnivore, it's just so easy to go. And and you don't have to go every day, which I just love that. That's amazing to me. Um, wow, um, that that's uh, that's an awesome list. So you said you'd been diagnosed in two thousand. Yes, November of two thousand. Yeah. That's like wow, Tw twenty four years of dealing with this, and then just going on to say it's like gone. Yes. Or or it just it's mind blowing. I just, I, I, I tell everyone about my experience. I, I told a new MS friend today, you know, I was like, you got to do carnivore. You just got to try it. You know, it's, it's, it's changed my life. And I thank my boyfriend for it. Thank you for yeah. it. <laughs> it's uh, just when you're telling other people, especially when you're telling someone else that has MS, like what's their reaction? Is it like, Oh, you're crazy. It's. Oh, uh well a girl today she was like well that's not science no i am a living testimonial of the fact that meat heals i don't need a science study to tell me what i'm feeling you they will probably never do a study on it because they don't want you to heal yourself did you hear about Bezos is now wanting to push the fake meat with Gates? They can have it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's getting uh, it's getting a bit crazy that everyone's getting in on this and trying to make money, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, they, I guess they, they, these billionaires, they don't have anything better to do. They're bored. <laughs> yeah. We can make a little bit more money this way. Look at this. We can, oh, this we can paint something. We can paint some wood and make it look like meat. And, you know, look how much money we're going to make. I know. It's crazy. But mm. back to your question. Um, most of them are go. They've actually contacted me because I've actually posted it on my Facebook. You know, hey, this is I'm going. I'm actually going into month five. By the way, I did not mention that. I started November 13th of last year. And I've just been going strong ever since. And I don't want to go back to the way I was before. As much as I still sometimes can think about those foods that I ate, I, I don't miss how it made me feel. Mm. And, and what is that saying that my boyfriend always says? And then, uh, Jordan Peter Jordan Peterson's daughter said, um, "The what is it? I hate that. I I should have wrote it down. Like healthy. I so is like it? He not nothing tastes as good as nothing tastes as good as healthy feels. Yeah, yeah. And that just yeah. that is so right. That is that just nails it. And I don't want to go back. You know that cheesecake is not worth." my health it's just not right and, you know i just i can't say
say it enough to people. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my mom to do it, <laughs> my brother, you know, I'm trying to get all my MS friends on the bandwagon. And I'm just like, look, just try it for like 30 days and see how you feel. And if you don't like it still, then okay, go back to how you were eating before. But I guarantee they'll love it and not want to go back. You know, after the first two days that I was on it, I felt more energy after two days. Well, so that, that's what I was going to ask you. You've been on it five months. Yeah. And for for people that are living with conditions like MS, if if a doctor said, take this drug and in five months, majority of your symptoms will be gone, people, that would be a blockbuster selling drug, right? And they don't have so, that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, was it, how long was it um, before you started to really notice, okay, well, things are getting better? Like, with your balance, Two months. things like that. Two months. Two months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just improving more and more every, like, month. Something else is like, you know, uh, I sometimes feel little twitches, certain little things. And I'm like, I have a feeling it's repairing. It's repairing itself. You know, the MS has lesions on the brain. It attacks your central nervous system. So it's your spinal cord and your brain. And the brain fog has lifted. It's nowhere near as bad as it was. You know, in MS, you have a lot of that. Plus, you know, going through the middle age stuff. <laughs> it's improved. It's amazing. And oh man it's just so many things my my spirit my whole attitude about life is better my energy oh man i could not clean a room in a day when i before carnivore now i can just do all kinds of things like before i would say okay i'm gonna clean this side of the room and then tomorrow i'll clean the other side and now it's like i'm gonna do the whole thing you know, I have way more energy now than I have in the past 20 years. Um, that is just, I'm so excited about it. Mm. Who knew that, you know, you could be so excited for something so simple. Mm. Energy. So um, on that point, yes. um, could you kind of contrast what a day was like, say, six months ago? to what a day is like now what oh, what absolutely. kind of thing oh six months ago um i was taking naps throughout the day i couldn't walk as far you know um and now i'm, I'm i don't need naps during the day like i used to sometimes but it depends on what i did the day before I still have to mind my spoons there. You know, if you know the spoon theory, you know, you, you have a certain amount of spoons for each task you do as an MS person. If you only have 25 spoons for the day, you have to like each task you do, it takes like so many spoons. And when you run out of those spoons and you're just, your the energy is just, it's all gone. Now um, I have, I feel like I have more spoons to do a lot more than, uh, what i did six months ago six months ago was really hard for me i couldn't i couldn't clean the shower without being just totally wiped out for the rest of the day and now i don't feel that anymore and i'm walking longer distance with my dog um i can uh like i said i can clean more than just one room in a day or half a room i can do a couple places i can do the dishes and clean the bathroom and clean my room it, it's it's completely different night and day and um i'm looking forward to more improvements and i know it's just going to get better that it just keeps getting better you know wow yeah um so a few months ago, I interviewed um, a gentleman with MS who had had an MRI. He had a lesion 
showing yeah. him that MRI. Yeah. He went on carnivore. Then he had another MRI and it, with a with a higher resolution machine, and yeah. there were no lesions showing. Have you yeah. have you had any MRIs and have you noticed any changes? I have a MRI, a current one that I just did last month, and I have an appointment to see my neurologist to go over the results. And I can't wait. But based off what from what I could see on the computer, the disc, because my boyfriend and I were looking, you know, and we were comparing from the old one to the new one. And it looks in a couple spots as if like some spots are smaller than what it was. So I'm just like can't wait i can't wait to see the written report you know from the reader and um i will be happy to share that with you when i get it back and my blood work so that has improved and my vitamin d used to be low and i always had to take d through vitamin d3 and now it says oh it's too high i'm like too <laughs> it's been low forever i was like yes I was like, finally, it's like over a hundred. <laughs> I was so excited about that because for yet for 24 years, it's just been so low and I'm like taking, I still take the supplement. I still take it. And, um, what was the other thing? The, the, so my HDL has improved as well the good cholesterol it just would never get over 40 and in 70s and then the uh my ldl which they say is bad um it's 137 which it's higher than what it usually was like they would say oh 114 and now it's 137 but i'm not scared because i know better now you know i've educated myself so i'm like how come it's not higher <laughs> Like, should it be higher? <laughs> you know, still learning little things. So, um, yeah. And the uh, the total cholesterol is two twenty two, and I'm like, that's still not high enough. <laughs> Give me that cholesterol so I can live long. <laughs> you know. Mm. So yeah. So it's all these little changes, but the 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 balance thing. And the fatigue, the energy, oh man, those are my favorite improvements there. Cause I've been struggling for so many years with fatigue. That fatigue is the worst symptom I had with my MS. It was debilitating. And um, yeah, just that. I, I guess, uh, um help me understand that with the fatigue so i mean my image just as you say that is it feels like the fatigue is almost going to be like a prison because it's like you you can you're aware of everything but you can't do anything is yeah that, is that kind you, of what it's like yeah the fatigue is like you see things around that you should be doing and that you need to do but you just don't have the gas to do it <laughs> and and when you try it, you just within seconds, you're just so exhausted and you feel like your legs are tree trunks. You feel, you just feel heavy, you know, everything you lift and everything you do, you just feel so exhausted. Um, even just standing at a concert, you know, I would be wiped out by the end of the night and we're talking for like three hours or four hours and just be wiped out. And now it's not that bad anymore. I can actually stand for those hours and be okay. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's very heavy. The fatigue is heavy. And, uh, and I, I was so tired of feeling like that. Cause I literally before carnivore, I felt so weak. I was like, am I dying? Am I, am I like, am I dying and everybody knows, but me, because <laughs> you know? it just felt like it just didn't feel right. And I did not like that feeling. And it's so nice to not have that feeling anymore. So it's worth having bacon and steak and chicken occasionally. And, you know, I cut out dairy. I don't 
Okay, so that's a lie. I have cheese occasionally. That's bad. I know. I probably shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but it's not a lot. I don't eat it a lot. But it's mostly bacon, steak, and uh, chicken. And I do like to have strawberries. So I guess I'm kind of ketovore. But that's the only fruit that I have that I treat myself to. And I do, I think at one point, and at some point, I probably won't eat those anymore. But I'm not ready to give it up yet. <laughs> I gave up cucumbers because they actually were hurting my stomach. And with the elimination diet like this, you can actually work that out. You can kind of go, oh, it's these things that are causing the problem, right? Yeah, I was good. And you know, I'm glad you said that because you remind me of something that I wanted to mention. In I was just talking to my boyfriend about it yesterday or day before I said, it's almost like your body's telling you like, Hey, you don't need that anymore. You don't need that. We, we don't need this. And it makes you just not want it anymore. Like it's an involuntary <laughs> function. You know, your body's just like, eh, nope. So I haven't had cucumbers in forever and I don't care to have them, you know? And so it's just steak and butter and chicken occasionally and the strawberries. And I'm okay with that, you know, and I'm doing good. Yeah. So how, how are your meals made up during the day? Are you just eating once? Are you eating twice? Ah, so sometimes I eat once. Sometimes it's twice. Yesterday, I ate three times. <laughs> I just, my body was just like, you're still hungry. So I was like, okay, so let's go get something, <laughs> you know? So, but most of the time, it's probably twice. Uh, in the morning, I'll have breakfast with a little bit of strawberries and black coffee with nothing in the coffee. And then I will have for dinner, I will eat a steak. Well, when I'm hungry for it, I'll have the steak with the butter. And then I may have a decaf in, in the evening. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. And I'm satisfied, you know? So most of the time, it's just twice a day. So how, how has your outlook changed on things for, you know, the, the future, what's coming up, given that, you know, you are feeling so good now compared to six, seven months ago? Oh, it's, a, it's good. It's really good. I really feel that in time, because I do think everyone's different and our bodies heal at different paces, I really think that I'm going to get healed. I think it's going to heal me pretty good. And I'm looking forward to that. I think it's just going to get better from here on out, you know, and I am going to try to teach as many people as I can show them your videos. In fact, I, I gave two videos to that girl today. I posted them and I was like, you got to watch these folks. They, these are MS people. You got to watch this. You got to hear this. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's, it's one thing when you hear a doctor and then, you know, people, I, I have to admit, I thought Ken Berry was a quack. I did because I was, I'm a phlebotomist and I was like, oh my God, this can't be right. But as you and I know, it's what they teach them in school. And so everybody thinks because, oh, they're doctors, this is what the guidelines are, that this is true. And it's really not. And we're finding out from more doctors that are hopping on the carnivore train. They're coming out doing their own research. Dr. Shafee, love him too. He did his own nutrition courses, you know, and putting all those resources out there for all these naysayers and deniers and uh, skeptics, you know, the information's there. You just got to be willing to read it and listen to people. And it, it, some people it's, it's hard to get to, and I guess we can't reach everybody, but it, it's sad because if only they would just try it. I I've known friends who have passed away from diabetes type two. And I would say to them, you know, um, 
and it's 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 hard to tell someone like, well, you have type two diabetes because you're obese. I mean, they take it like, what are you saying? <laughs> you know, it's like, no, I'm just saying you can get rid of that if you lose the weight and maybe try to eat this way and see what this does for you after 30 days. And it's sad that just some people, I guess, can't. They just, they're so, their mind is so what is it that you said the other day brainwashed <laughs> they are i mean they think just because it's on tv that it must be true or just because it's a harvard study that it must be true and we all know that all these big universities get paid off all the time wasn't it you that mentioned the other day about or somebody was talking about how the like the sugar industry when you look to see who funds these studies you have to go ah wait a minute <laughs> right even yeah. dr kellogg and all of that you're you're going to be let me count you're going to be the seventh um the seventh person on my multiple sclerosis playlist I so that i need so to send you some month someone else right so, so I the thing is <laughs> oh awesome but the the thing is, you know, I've really only been interviewing people for, I mean, interviewing a lot of people for less than a year. And seven people already have have responded and told their stories. And if they haven't put everything into remission, um, they have seen massive improvements. Yeah. And, what what does that say about where we are with with treating some of these conditions you know i have been dealing with these with all of these pharmaceutical companies over the last 24 years i've been on quite a few meds myself and stopped taking medicine a few years ago because all i could tell you and i and Every MS person, one thing that we're sick and tired of hearing is, oh, there, we're, we want money for funding for, for um, a new medication. We don't want a medication. We want a cure. We want to feel better so that we can be productive citizens in society and live our lives normal like everyone else. I have been hearing the same story from these people. Oh, there's a, there's a new study going on for a new medication. Why? Why aren't we talking about food and healing? It is, it's, it's, it's so obvious that that's the answer. I really believe that everything that a human body needs is right on this earth. It's right here. It's not man-made. It's right here for us to feel better. Okay. And it's just, it's, it's old hearing them say, oh, we're doing another study. We have a new, I remember when I was diagnosed, there was only three medications out, three shots. It was Avonex, Papaxone, and Beta Seron. And I remember then they go, oh, we have oral drugs coming out in the next couple years. Like 10 years went by or something like that before it ever came out. I didn't try that. Um, cause I kept going on and off the drugs and I never felt normal. I never felt good. And one thing that every MS drug has in common is it will, uh, I, okay. I'm trying to be good girl. I'm not going to cuss. I don't want to say the bad words. One thing they all have in common is that it will mess up your liver at some point. You have to get blood work done every three months because they want to make sure that it's not affecting your liver. And I'm like, that there should say something to you. You should not want to put that in your body. You know, okay, big pharma in your face. <laughs> but it's true. I've experienced these drugs and they're horrible, you know, and I've lost so many MS friends and they all were on a medication. 
I really think and I really believe that these drugs does it 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 does not prolong your life. It's no guarantee that it will put you in remission. There's no guarantee for that. If you read the inserts, which a lot of them I have, they can't guarantee that. And if you if you compare the placebo to the drug in the study, the placebo was not really that bad compared to the person that was on the drug. What does that tell you? Why even take it? And MS for most people, for like 85%, don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's the right number, but if I'm remembering correctly, I think it's like 85%. Percent, 90, okay, I can't even speak tonight. 85% of the people that have MS have relapse remitting, the RR form. Then you have uh, second, secondary progressive and primary progressive, which is more aggressive. I have RR, which is relapse remitting. MS is normally, and most, for most people, a slow progressing disease. For most of us, it's a slow progressing disease. So why are you putting us on medication? Why are you putting that 85% of people on medication? Now, I can understand if you have an aggressive one and it's moving very quickly, I got it. That I would support because then yeah, it's moving very quickly. And then that means you're going to get a lot closer to death, you know, and that's not cool. So I understand that. But I don't like that this country, it's all about the money. And that's all it is. And, and, and most Americans are struggling right now, you know, and it's, it's just terrible. Come on, election day. <laughs> we need to, we need to hurry up and get a new person in office. We need to do this over. But yeah, I mean, it's I could just talk your ear off. I am a big talker and it's just and very I'm very passionate about things and I'm a very fair person and when I see things like that article about Bezos and Gates, they both are supporting this fake meat thing. I'm like, no. It's not happening. No. You can eat it if you want it, but we're not going to eat it. <laughs> you know, I want a cow. I want my pig. Thank you. And my chicken. <laughs> yeah. So um, I just went off on a tangent there. <laughs> no, no problem. Um, so um, if you've got one message for people suffering with MS out there, what would that be? Oh, it would be to listen to your videos and listen to other MS people who have chosen to be carnivore and listen to what they have to say about it and their improvements and just give it, just give it 30 days. Hell, two weeks even. Give it two weeks. You will feel amazing and, and you will not want to be on those MS drugs anymore. And th that's what I say. Give it a shot. What do we have to lose? I mean, we have to gain. We're being able to walk without feeling like I'm going to fall over. And I mean, it's just give it a shot. That's all I got to say. I mean, it's amazing. And I don't regret it at all. Angie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I feel honored. Thank you very much.